Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, the second week of Easter. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You know, Easter is really about the gift of eternal life. So as we begin, let's reflect on the promises that we have, that we have the gift of eternal life. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enable us, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord that we who have received this pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed, robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord, the Lord is, is king, king. He, he is robed, robed in majesty. majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. The, the Lord, Lord is king. He is robed, robed in majesty. majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The, the Lord, Lord is king. He is robed, robed in majesty. majesty. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, you are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you. We speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how you will believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, you Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. So, you know, the, we're in the Easter season, and we read a lot of the first readings come from the Acts of the Apostles. And today, uh, I'd like to speak to that part of the Gospel, or the Acts of the Apostles, to, that talks about that early Christians and their community and their sharing and their, you know, dividing up property to people who need it. You know, I think that's a lot of what Jesus taught us. And you know, they were not perfect because some years later, Paul had to take up a collection because the believers in the church of Jerusalem were kind of destitute at the time. So I think, you know, what we have to think about is we need to share, we need to share with others our talents, our treasures, what we have. And if you look at that, time of the early church, maybe they just need more people to reach out to help them, to share with others. So we need to take what we have and match it with what other folks have, talent-wise, because together we're much stronger than if we're alone. We were not created to be alone, we were created for each other. We were created for a community, the community of believers. So I'd like you to reflect upon all that this morning, reflect upon your gifts and your talents and your charity and what Easter has taught us, what Jesus has taught us about sharing, about caring, about a charity. God bless my brothers and sisters. For our church, may it always be a community of love and mercy and forgiveness and sharing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace throughout our world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For those who are lost or struggling in life, may they be transformed by our risen Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our for those who are suffering from any sickness, may God comfort and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we eat this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we eat this wine to give you fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May, May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice on our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of God's holy church. Grant, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries so that renewed constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. Father, he is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death, and by rising, he restored our life. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, and, and profess, profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Jimmy Gardner and Daniel Smitka, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us, us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us, us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world, blessed all those called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that by this exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring us your help in this present life and ensure for us the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. May God's blessing truly guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a good day, everyone. Same to you.